Now to another big story, the weather and the winter that just keeps piling on. Another storm hit the Northeast today. Boston could have as much as two more feet of snow before it's all over. The city has now set a record with nearly 74 inches this season. Jerika Duncan is there. Throughout the day, the flakes kept falling in Boston, quickly adding height to the mounds of snow everywhere around the city. Cars are buried, transit systems shut down, and people like Joe Mulcahy were forced to either stay inside or dig out. You shovel again and you shovel again and you shovel again and you shovel again. This is New England. In the last two weeks, contractor Tom Morrell has received more than 200 calls to his roofing business from homeowners fearful that their roofs might cave in. How long on average does it take you to remove all of the snow off of a roof? It depends. It depends how big the house is. I mean, if it's a high house, it'll take more better part of a day. The whole day? You sure. Before the 600 snow plows can clear the streets from one snowstorm, it seems another piles on. The city's $18 million snow removal budget is already blown, says Mayor Marty Walsh. By the end of this week, we will more than have doubled our budget, what the snow budget was. Over the last 24 hours, 6,000 tons of snow has been removed from city streets. Two snow melters are working nonstop. Since yesterday, they've melted more than 19,000 tons. I mean, we had the blizzard, which arguably was the worst of the three. Uh, but the fact that we have so much snow on the ground that we got the second one 18 inches, and then today, I think they all seem worse than the one before it, just because there's so much snow on the ground. Boston Public Schools have had eight snow days this school year, and Scott officials are now considering having those students make up those missed days either this spring or perhaps in the summer. Jerika, thank you.